learning from each other. All right, thank you. Uh, you very good evening. Well and assalamualaikum to all the ladies and gentlemen. Okay, today I will represent Motec. Uh, I'm from the licensing and enforcement department from Motec. So today uh, we, I would like to introduce to you one program or one initiative that uh, for all the small entrepreneurs, especially in the diving sector. So next. So a bit of background of the, this uh, new initiative. Uh, this is one. Uh, okay, we Motec understand. There's there's a lot of small entrepreneurs uh, in the tourism that uh, offer tourism package without a license, but uh, Motec never take action against them. And uh, according to these operators, they don't have any best option in rela in relating uh, to get the license from Motec. So uh, I will. I would like to emphasize here uh, under the section 52 industry tourism industry act 1992 uh, no person should carry or operate or hold himself and as carrying on op operating to operator business and travel agency business unless it is a company and holds a valid, valid license under Motec. So this is one of the program uh, for us to tackle or address the issue of unlicensed tour operator. So our objective is to fulfill the legal obligation and to boost tourism industry based on the concept of ease of doing business. So this is some of the, the conditions of the license. First of all, uh, only rate only sh company Sharikat Sendian Berhad registered under the Company Act 2016. Uh, the company must have the paid up capital 10,000 ringgit. This is the minimum paid up capital. So the shareholder do, should not have any interest in other tour operating business company. Uh, make sure that only shareholder or board of director or appointed individual, individual that handles the company bank account. Uh, the next condition, the name of the company must reflect tourism. For example, here, travel, tours, holiday, vacation, and others. The nature of business in the SSM must be related with tour operating business. Uh, the company must be free from any prosecution, court proceedings, or understanding compound, uh, free from any consumer tribunal case. So, uh, the next one, the board of director or shareholder must be Malaysian and must not be from the officer from Motec. So this is some of the documents that needed to be submitted during application. The current e-in for SSM, the my card, the card, uh, a copy of my card for the board of director and shareholders, the undertaking letter, uh, the company must register under Perkeso, so hence we need the registration confirmation letter from Perkeso. And the company must submit the front page of the bank statement and re director resolution of the account bank. So this is the how to how to get the license, how to apply for the license. Uh, currently, we are doing it manually. So the company should complete all the application. The, the form can be download, downloaded from the, our website, the Motec website, www.motec.gov.my. Uh, the company must submit all the complete application to the state Motec, the nearest state Motec. So uh, there's a, a fee license payment, a fee process payment to be made, 100 ringgit. Uh, in the name of Pesurujaya Pelancongan. So, uh, for this program, for this initiative, we will offer for two years license. So, this is the, the license fee payment. Actually, we offer for two. Uh, one is uh, for the inbound license. Uh, for the total fee will be 375. The next one is the inbound and also the 
travel agency business. So this is the comparison between the normal top tap license and the small scale license. The biggest difference is uh, in the paid up capital. So for the normal top tap license, is the, the range of paid up capital is 50,000 to 1.5. This one depends on the locality and the shareholders, whether it's local or foreign foreign shareholders. So for the for the top the small scale top tap is only ten thousands. Uh, as I mentioned before the top tap small scales uh, we only offer inbound and also ticketing the tap license. Uh, so the next one is the operating area where the company can sell their packages is only a locality based on your PBT, uh, your authority development of the area. So for the top tap, for the small scale top tap, we are not we not allowed to open any branches in other other place. And as I mentioned before, the the license period will, will be given two years instead of the normal top tap license. We only give you one year for a new license. So uh, the next one is the shareholders. Uh, for the small scale top tap, we only uh, offer to Malaysian only. So the premise size, if you apply for the normal license, uh, we actually uh, already, there's a condition for premise size. Whereas for the small scale top tap, it depends on your PBT's, PBT's approval. This is like a, a summary of the license. So, uh, for your information, currently we only offer for scuba diving operator. So, uh, we hope that uh, because we understand that many of these small operator, uh, they, uh, one of the concern is the 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 paid up capital. They they can cannot afford a higher high paid up capital. So, uh, we try to accommodate to this uh, this condition. So we lower it to RM10,000, minimum, this is the minimum paid up capital. So. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, the guidelines can show. Uh, so next, I uh, will show you the guidelines. Uh, this guideline can be downloaded from the MoTeC uh, websites. So any updates regarding uh, of any news or any updates regarding of this license, uh, you can check our websites. We will update regularly. You can also call our state MoTeC. So uh, every state we have a MoTeC MoTeC branches. So you can check up our directory in the website. So you can call these offices to get more information regarding this license. So, uh, so this is the guidelines of the small scale top lab license. As I mentioned before, the minimum paid up capital is ten thousand ringgit. So the, we only allowed for these two types of license: inbound uh, or inbound and ticketing only. So uh, the the office location or the packages that you offer must be only in the locality area under your PBTs, your development authority. So you cannot open any branches in other places. So this only uh, ap apply to Malaysian only. So uh, the important things you may have a PBT license, business license. It's a it's a must.
Okay, for your information, uh, for for those who want to apply for this license, you must go to the uh, to a travel and tour management course handled by Motec. So uh, you can see and uh, okay. Uh, so this one is I already explained before the nature of the businesses. Uh, must stated the the business yet the uh, the business that is to carry business into operating business and or travel business. So you must be from any proceeding court, from any prosecution, uh, for any outstanding compound, or any claim under tribunal tuntutan pengguna Malaysia. So uh, the third one is what are the documents? This is the, uh, the full list of the documents needed for application of this license. So uh, the, this this four is already mentioned before. Uh, next, please. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, we only process it manually, so you can download it from our website. So all the application, all the documents must be submitted manually to the nearest uh, state motec. So uh, in this guideline also, we provide you the, the address and also the contact information of every state, every motec state branches in Malaysia. So we have to, you have to pay 10 ring, 10, 100 ringgit process fee. So uh, after... Uh, after we process your application and once it's approved, so the uh, the the uh, company must uh, there's a precondition, pre-license, pre-license condition that you must be fulfilled before we actually give you the exact the exact uh, license. So the first one you you must have the approval from your PBTs. Uh, you have got. You have to go to the travel and tour management courses. Uh, for this, for the information of the TTMC, you can contact your your Motec, Motec office. You can contact the Motec office for for more information. Uh, next, please. So uh, all the companies that uh, have the pre-approval must complete all the all the pre conditions precondition for the license within six months of our letter of approval so I already mentioned to you before of the fee license uh, the fee license that we will give you two two years so this is the total payment that you have to make after we give you the approval later so next I think basically Okay, this one is uh, the exit policy. Okay, because uh, this one is we offer to you, we offer this to the small, small entre entrepreneurs that only offer the package in the in your localities. So for those who actually interested to expand your business, you can uh, you can submit your small scale scale license and you can apply for the normal top tap license. So this for those who wish to expand their businesses. Because this one we only offer for the small entrepreneurs only that only interested to sell packages in your own localities. So basically, uh, that's all. So if there's any question, if not. All right, questions are open to the floor. Do you have any questions? You can uh, ask Puan City here. All right, thank you, everyone. Okay, round of applause, please. Thank you, Puan City Khadija Binti Sub to Rani on the topic which just commenced. Now, coming up shortly for a second topic, which will be commencing at a time frame of 2.40, we'll be having Dr. Wirdati Muhammad Rajdi. And the topic for today is called Regulating the Malaysian Diving Industry, commencing at 2.40 at the main stage. Thank you.